early January 1980. My partner Dave Hyde and I were working uh, for another tire company. We decided we'd like to try to go into business for ourselves. So at that time, uh, we spoke to a few distributors that we knew and um, things didn't work the way we hoped they would and, and uh, we went to go see Jerry. Explained to him what we wanted to do and could he help us out by selling his tires. Obviously we were new, we didn't have much money. He said, sure. Everybody deserves to try, you know, to try and be in business and live the American dream. Called Jerry one day and said, Jerry, we got two and a half acres next to us. Maybe we could build a tire store. Give me the number, he said. So we gave him the number and before we knew it, we had Jerry as a partner and uh, we built a really nice complex there, uh, put up 11,000 square foot building, and then later on developed the other half, had some rental buildings, had a break shop. And in 1989, uh, we were hoping for a little bit better life for our kids, um, better quality of life for all of us. And so he bought our half out, which allowed us to buy this store in San Luis Obispo. So after about seven years, Jerry said, hey, you guys are doing great. How are you gonna retire someday? Really haven't thought about it. We were working hard. Families were growing, uh, trying to get kids through college. And he said, you gotta own the real estate. I said, oh, yeah, you gotta own the real estate. I said, well, I don't, I don't, we just bought a piece of property. I don't have any money. It's all right, we're gonna buy the property. You guys are gonna have to retire someday. I'll buy it, you can buy it for me. Okay. And so all of a sudden I go from zero dollars in debt to a million dollars in debt, my partner and I. But long story short, Jerry helped us tremendously, bought the property, we paid him back, and 15 years later we were able to retire. Jerry's helped us out in so many ways. Obviously the supply of tires, and it's been a huge deal. Uh, and where we are kind of centrally located between LA and San Francisco, it's not the easiest to get tires really when you need them. But uh, he'd bring a truck up whenever we want him to, and, and it's great. Jerry's always helped out as far as finding brands that are readily available and profitable, and made it so that we could have something that not everybody else had in the market. And, and rarely does he ever not come up with a way solution. Jerry doesn't say no. <laughs> doesn't matter what the question is, he always yeah. says yes. Everything's personal with Jerry. He, he knows who you are, he's spent time with you. Yeah, it's family. I mean, he knows everything about your family. And it's, you, know, not to, you can't do that in a, a big corporation. You can't pick up the phone and ask for the guy that is in charge of the whole operation. Dave and I ever needed any advice on anything, whether it was business or real estate or family or whatever, the first phone call was always to Jerry. And now you see it on a second generation. Brad's right there with him and we're doing the same thing. Uh, my dad did and he's there and you could, you could ask him anything. We're a 47 year old family business. Uh, started in 1971 with my mom and my dad and I. We start off as an inner city retailer. When we first went in business in 1971, uh, Fairmont Tire actually gave us inventory on consignment to, to open our business. We, we opened this business with like $5,000 and an empty store and they gave us inventory and we decided that we wanted to grow our business. Uh, um, we felt like we had a good business model and uh, we, you know, we were just rolling along and paying our bills and doing what we needed to do. We had 10 stores when the riots hit. We lost three of them, were burned to the ground, and we had two others that were looted. All the merchandise was stolen from the stores. We were very close to filing bankruptcy. After the riots, we were coming back from the, the trade show in Las Vegas, and it happened to be Brad and Jerry were sitting in the front, uh, the seat, two seats in front of my brother and I, and they said, well, let's do some business. And I, and I think I made the comment to Jerry. I said, Jerry, you know, we're having a really tough time. I'm not sure we're even going to be in business. And he said, well, you know, come talk to us. And a week or two later, my brother went over and talked to them. They agreed to, uh, to, to supply, give us inventory for all our stores, and we would just pay them on a weekly basis to what we, for what we sold, and they'd replenish it. And uh, quite frankly, uh, that was at a point when um, uh, uh, 
you know, we were pretty desperate and the suppliers that probably should have been helping us to survive uh, weren't and, and they, they really gave us a lifeline. Of course, once we started becoming profitable and paying our bills, then there was a line out the door for people that wanted to sell us. And I, and I continued to remain very, very loyal to Fairmont Tire. Today we do more business out of this one facility than we did out of 10, 20 plus years ago and are very profitable and, uh, um, and, and, we, and it's definitely because of what Fairmont Tire did in those very dark times for our company. They're the reason we're in business today. They've marked themselves as the Fairmont family and, and I think they treat uh, all the people they interact with as a family member, whether it be a vendor, a customer. Uh, um, for, on a wholesale or retail uh, side, they're, they're, just, uh, they're, they're just very inviting people. When we started getting involved with Jerry and Brad again, I became very aware of, of the things they do. They sponsored nursing programs and they were involved in a playground development. I was just so inspired by, here's a guy that uh, is so different from everyone in the industry that I was aware of. And I said to myself that after we struggled for so many years, I was going to make sure that we, we emulated uh, what he did uh, uh, in our community. It was very important to leave the world a better place than when you got here, and I think he embodies that. My name is Kerry, and I work at the Tire Man. We have two shops now, one here in Thousand Oaks and one in Agora. Bill Jr. runs the one in Agora, and I run the one in Thousand Oaks. Tire Man's had a working relationship with Fairmount. Uh, for many years. Bill and Jerry were together buying and selling tires since the late 60s, early 70s. I come on in 91 and Brad and I kind of hit it off and have had a, a great relationship. I was able to watch him somewhat grow up in the business. It was awesome to work with him because he and I and, and Billy at the other shop uh, as kind of the second generation or the younger generation have been able to be with Brad and, and kick things off and continue going down the same path as Jerry and Bill did and have a great working relationship. The thing that makes Brad and Fairmont different from our other suppliers is his personal involvement and his personal concern about how we do as a business. He is a supplier that I have a face to. He's someone that I could call anytime during the business hours and even in the evenings, even on the weekends. Say, Brad, we need to sit down, have a little meeting, go over some stuff. Here's my concerns. Here's what I think can make us better, Fairmont better. Brad gets stuff to me when I need it delivered. He is always there for us, and they always get me the best price possible. When I was 20 years old, I come to Jerry's, and I tell him, I'm ready to open a business. And he say, uh, I have some properties. Um, I have uh, Sam's. Discount tire, it's empty. Sam was uh, like, no, he's a kid. How am I gonna rent him the property? He's really young. Jerry told him, okay, if you don't wanna make him a lease, make me the lease, and I make him the lease. So you rent it to me, and I rent it to him. And he was telling me, I'm gonna pay the deposit for you, okay? And I told him, um, well, I can pay you that money later. He say, no, 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 no. The money is nothing. Just stay focused, stay happy, and keep going. He always believed me on, I know you can do this. I believe you. And everybody was telling him, uh, no, you're making a mistake. You don't know what you're doing. All the people I know, who's gonna help a, a young man? He says, uh, I'm gonna send you a machine. And I told him, uh, okay, uh, it's fine. Um, I'm waiting and, and, and see if I can buy one. And, and, and well, yeah. So he say, no worries, I take care of you. When I see the first time, I was a little bit like crying because <laughs> he do it again. He do it again. And well, the machine is old, but it was perfect. If 
if you ask me, uh, what is my favorite thing to do <laughs> is to wake up early and stay with him on the Saturdays, see him, hear how he's talking to the customers. Jerry showed me, teach me. I was looking at him like a dad, like a father. Well, right now, business, it's really busy. All the neighbors know me. All the mechanic shops right there knows Sam's discount tire. Jerry, thank you for everything. I love you a lot. Congratulations. Uh, it, it, you guys are uh, absolutely the best. I mean, I can't. Words can't describe what you've done for my company and our family. We're grateful for everything you've done and uh, we'll continue to be. Yeah, happy 60th and thank you uh, beyond for everything. Brad, congratulations on your 60th. Uh, you've been a great business partner to Tire Man over the years. We look forward to many years ahead. Uh, more importantly, you're a great friend and I appreciate all that you do for us here at Tire Man and the extra mile that you go to make us a better shop. Thank you for everything. Uh, 60 years, Fairmont Tire, that's just fantastic, unbelievable. 60 years, like you say, like 60 minutes, right? <laughs>